was a shop manager as well. He, uh, he had to come back. Uh, oh! oh. Headed to the great northeast. It's time for me to uh, learn a new track this weekend. We're up at uh, Pittsburgh International Race Complex. We are one week out from our last podium, second place at Road Atlanta. Uh, so we get to try to get up to speed quick and learn the track, get the bike dialed in, and uh, come Sunday, be ready to go. I feel pretty good as a rider now. I just gotta figure out where this place goes and twist the throttle, keep up with the fast boys, we'll be set. No big deal. Finished. I got my first taste of Pittsburgh International Race Complex. Pretty cool track, but uh, our bike setup is, is feeling way off, so we're gonna have to make some adjustments because this is a this track has a lot more back and forth transitions. It's just a lot different than other tracks that we've been to. So uh, I think if we make some changes, we'll be good. I mean, I think we're sitting third for that first session. So if we can fix that and, and get comfortable, then I think we'll be we'll be sitting pretty good for the race. But. Uh, I need to fix some things myself, and I've got a lot of work to do after this, so get ready for qualifying so we can hopefully go faster. Uh, How does it feel? It feels, it feels a lot better. Does it? Okay. Yeah. So okay. I was kind of just letting the tires get worked in and stuff. So. Okay. Uh, maybe that's an advantage for Schultz being stronger. I mean, I know these bikes aren't as big as the thousands, but being able to muscle your way through some of these turns, maybe a little bit of an advantage for him? A little bit for sure. I mean, even Corey Alexander said being bigger here is kind of kind of works to his advantage where some tracks it might hurt him, like Road America when he can't tuck in and, and get under the bubble. The three, uh, three man team here. All right, so uh, qualifying one just wrapped up Friday afternoon. Uh, we ended up fourth, but we're only like two tenths out of second place. Uh, had a little bit of an issue at the end there. It kind of Qualifying didn't really go how I wanted it to. Uh, at the very end there, then I broke my quick shifter, so I didn't get to finish my last flying lap. But as far as how the bike feels, it feels really good. I think we're going to be able to go a bit faster tomorrow. Uh, the way things are feeling now, I really feel like we could be a challenge for the win this weekend. The bike feels really good. I'm a, I feel pretty strong, so if we can get the quick shifter sorted out, we're having a next day air one in so we can have one for uh, for tomorrow so i'm uh hoping we get that fixed in time for qualifying and uh or at least have it for the race it should be all good to go feel strong Getting myself hyped up for qualifying two coming up. Uh, sitting fourth after yesterday, but I think we'll uh, we'll be able to put it on the front row this morning. So it's time to drop the hammer and uh, put in a quick lap and move up and uh, try to get try to get top three. Feel good though. Can be set.
little bit of a mistake because, you know, I thought he just ran off and he said, hey, I wouldn't just run off like that. I knew he was too far ahead. Look at the time. Hayden Schultz actually the top of the leaderboard here in uh, qualifier number two. Uh, we'll spread it on construction. Hayden Schultz racing. Looks like I see the wow, wow. Law Tigers on the side. Do that. Wow, Do wow. See it right there. This is Law Tigers. He's a shop manager as well. He, uh, he had to come back. Uh, oh, oh, big time get off. You saw the back end step off high side. And, oh. And just keeps getting worse for Hayden Schultz. Man. That's where wow. that linebacker slash fullback body paid off because it's like nails on a chalkboard. Let's listen. And it was. We just wrapped up qualifying two, and it was, for the first half, it was actually going really, really great. We were sitting P1 for a long time until uh, Rocco jumped us towards the end, and I went back out to try to go a little bit faster and see if I could get my spot back, and then uh, launched myself to the moon. I had a pretty big high side, so that ended our session, obviously, and uh, so now I'm trying to make sure I'm all good and ready to go for tomorrow, and hopefully the crew can Get back, the bike back together. Luckily, my 60 helmets and RS Tai Chi leathers and gloves uh, kept me protected because I was able to walk away from a pretty big spill at pretty high speed. So uh, glad we're glad I'm good, and hopefully the bike will be good to go. We've got all day to fix it, and I got a really good team, so I think we'll be okay. Race day's finally here, Sunday morning. Woke up after the gnarly, gnarly crash yesterday and um, feeling a little bit sore. Uh, my throttle wrist is uh, sore with the one that I broke last year. So I felt like it's just sprained. I don't think it's anything major. I'm gonna go out morning warm up, make sure everything feels okay. But uh, as long as everything feels good on the bike, I think we're sitting really good for the race today. We have a really, really good shot at winning. So I think I can get it done, but I'm uh, really thankful to have such a good team to get this bike back together. They worked all day afternoon after that qualifying session to get it back together and running well. So um, Gene, Gary, Dink, and Russell, and my dad, like, everybody, I can't thank them enough for all the work they did to make sure we can get this bike back out there and, and hopefully put it on the top step of the box today. Yeah, so I got our morning warm-up in. Uh, I got a couple laps to shake down the bike, make sure everything's running okay. It was pretty good. I uh, was able to also make a couple more laps to get up to speed, make sure I, myself was okay, and wrist and everything feels good on track. So uh, just had to take some laps just to kind of make sure nothing was different or wrong. We put a new pipe on there, this new nice looking spark exhaust uh, that Scott from MotoD sent us. So we're gonna run that today and it kind of delivered power a little bit different so I wanted to get some laps and figure out how the bike felt on acceleration and whatnot. But uh, you know, everything feels good. I still think we feel good enough that we could have a shot at winning this race and so that's what we're gonna try to do. We'll see if we can't get the job done later this afternoon. as well but look for the 259 they put that bike together the crew up there in Indianapolis let's see if somebody can give it to Rocco Landers trying to do the twofer here in Wampum
Blazius on the Suzuki. Good start by Joseph Blazius. Yeah. Suzuki really good start a, on the inside. Good launch. We're seeing a lot of uh, very similar bikes. Blazius going underneath oh. Hayden. Schultz, you see Caleb DeCaro with a good run. He's back and forth. In that crash, he hurt his wrist. It's his throttle wrist, the right side. Don't know how, you know, to the extent it is hurt, but it is definitely hurting him out there. Caleb DeCaro up into third now. Gets by Joe Blazius on the 24. Hey, DeCaro's fast here. Yeah. He got yeah. Watching these bikes, listening to these bikes coming down that straightaway. Still plenty of horsepower. The speeds are turning about 135 miles an hour. You can see Caleb, with the first, he's got a purple first sector, so, you know, it's the fastest of anybody. And his trap speed of 133, you compare that to Landers. Landers turned right with Hayden Schultz for third in the championship. He's back there in ninth. You see Schultz trying to close in on Caleb DeCarroll. One thing um, I learned about Hayden Schultz is he'd been fast and, you know, growing up and Blackman having some problems working. Third place today goes to Hayden Schultz. Kind of a lonely race for you, Hayden, but your third podium in a row. How are you feeling about your performance? I'll be honest, I'm, I'm happy to be on the podium, but uh, I'm a little bit disappointed with today's result. Uh, yesterday I had a big get off in qualifying, and uh, I have to give a big shout out to my team, uh, Gary, Gene, Dink, and Russell, and my family. They, uh, they worked really hard all day to get the bike back together. And then uh, today in the race, I just didn't bring it to today. I thought uh, coming in that we'd have a chance to run with Rocco and try to get a win, but uh, I just didn't get the job done. So I feel like I let them down a little bit, but uh, nonetheless, I couldn't thank, uh, thank everybody that helps me get here. The Law Tigers, Britton Construction, Hayden Schultz Racing, FCO7 work great. Uh, Blood Lubricants, uh, Wasner Pistons, Olin's getting the bike set up great. Uh, man, uh, we'll just have to regroup and get on to the next one and see if we can't move up onto the further on the podium. Congratulations to Hayden Schultz. Robbie, there you have it. Thank you, Hannah. Rock. Second place, Caleb DeCarroll. And you're... I think that's necessarily the case after what we saw on TV. No, yeah. I mean, the crash yesterday was, was pretty gnarly, and uh, the video made it look even gnarlier, I guess, in a film. Uh, so, coming in today, I mean, I don't really have any excuses. I felt okay in morning warm-up good enough to go. Well, get another podium, so that's cool. But uh, I will be totally honest, I am kind of disappointed. I thought we had more form today, and uh, I just feel like I let the team down a little bit. I thought we could have gone faster. I felt like I uh, just couldn't ride like I could during qualifying. And uh, that's part of it. That's Good job, Bob. Thanks, buddy. Good job. Hey, this, guy, this guy's on it. Go get him next weekend. He's fine. So. We got to do some work before we can keep up with Rocco because he's just railing. So that's how racing goes. We'll just uh, train hard and come back stronger.